Hello, this is Tone and welcome to the channel. This video is going to be about NCAA football 2009 or 09 uh, as, or 09 as um, the name um, game, the name style changed uh, after 2005, I believe. Um, and in particular, it's going to be about making this game play better because there are some teething issues with this with this game that I readily admit. But I play this game for a reason because it's the closest thing we have to what we see in modern day uh, college football. And the main reason for that, and probably the only reason for that, are the playbooks. So I've been in a lab for uh, a few days, going on a week or so during my vacation, really, really breaking down this game. And I've learned a few things. I've learned enough things to where I have the confidence now to make this video and do a little bit of, of teaching, I believe. Hopefully this can help you guys. So uh, let's take a ride, let's dive inside uh, to our settings uh, straight away. So for gameplay, I like to keep my minutes at eight minutes. This, this gives me a realistic amount of plays. I'm all about having realistic stats in my dynasty. So this is gonna give me between 50 and 70 plays, depending on give or take. Sometimes the CPU, if they beat my butt, they're gonna have more plays. Sometimes I'm gonna have more plays. But I'm gonna get between 50, 45, and 70 plays, depending on who's dominating the game. I, I love that. I like it a lot. All-American, because unfortunately, with the jump to snap issues and the momentum meter, Heisman is, is pretty much unplayable. I have a, a, a set, uh, a slider set for Heisman, but it's fool's gold. Pretty much, it's 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 not. It's it's like an illusion because you can use that set on Heisman and have a good game or have a fair game. Because at the end of the day, we're, we're not looking to win every game. We just want to have a fair game and say, hey, this team, Oklahoma beat the crap out of me. Um, Iowa State, somebody, and you know they beat me thirty-five to fourteen. You know, and they won a turnover battle. Blah blah blah. That's what's supposed to happen. We can live with that, but. <laughs> It's hard to live with the computer jumping a snap eight out of ten snaps, and you li literally have no way to make any type of plays. That's it's it's just unrealistic. The buffs that the CPU gets when when they when they, when they engage that particular feature on Heisman is just unplayable. And the reason why I say my Heisman set and playing on Heisman is fool's gold is because if you get lucky or if you do fake snaps enough and get lucky and throw the throw the cpu off with their uh jump to snap and they don't they don't strike strike goal with it enough you can have a good game if you make some good plays um yeah you can have a good game and get lucky and win but unfortunately uh that's few and far between and like i said it's not about winning every game it's about having a fair game and with the momentum meter and jump to snap, unfortunately, Heisman is not playable on this game. But for all you Heisman players who don't mind, I hate to put it like this, who don't mind biting a bullet or swallowing your pride, I don't, I, I really, I'm probably out of line for going to swallowing your pride route. But let's be honest, some people just have this attitude. Um, and I'm the same way in certain games. Uh, I'm a big Total War fan. Um, you know, I refuse to play that game on anything less than hard or, or very hard. I, I'm just not going to play on normal difficulty um, when I play Rome 2, no matter what mods I'm using or whatever. So I, I do understand that. But if I had to, I would because I love the game. So if you're a Heisman player, which I never was, I was always an All-American guy with modified sliders that made, made All-American more difficult or more of a challenge. Or more interesting so if you're a heisman guy and you feel all american is too easy i have a slider set for you and and trust me if the game's too easy after that i'll eat my words but i, I promise you you take a team like indiana and go play ohio state and watch what beanie wells does to you with this all american slider set and it's going to be fair it's not going to be cheesy either you're just going to get destroyed as you as well as you should Indiana should beat Ohio State in Ohio State once every thousand years. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty much. That's that's just the way it is. That's just football. That's just college football. All right. 
Game fatigue, we leave that on. Injuries, we leave it on. Impact cameras off. Home field advantage is big. It's big because we never use it at any at any given time. We, we just never use it. The reason why is because of jump to snap and momentum. Uh, it skews the results of the game to the point to where it, it's just it's just not it's not realistic. All home field advantage does is just screws this game up a lot more than it than, than it, it needs to be screwed up. It's already got issues as as it is. Even though what I'm about to show you um, pretty much helps it a lot to the point to where you, it doesn't even bother you. It doesn't bother me, and I'm sure it won't bother you if you if you keep an open mind. But with home field advantage on, anything I say here, you can just forget about it. You can stop watching the video. Um, if you just if you have to play with this on, everything I'm telling you right now is is a waste of your time, and I don't like wasting anybody's time. But if you don't mind having this off. Take a ride with me. Let's keep going. Campus challenge. I, I keep this off. I don't care about all this stuff. Return camera. That that stays off. I'm old school with that. <clears throat> Let's get into the sliders. QB accuracy for the human. I much prefer something higher for both sides. Not for the accuracy aspect, but the the quarterbacks just play better. It's just something about when these sliders are close to the max how much better the game plays. You bump this 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 thing up to like 75 on all American and watch the CPU quarterback go to work. Just take the accuracy out of the out of the equation and look at the 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 reads. The way they read the book. It's just incredible. It's just incredible what these sliders do and how loaded they are. And how messed up they are if you don't know which each one each one does. But I must prefer this at 75, but we can't sacrifice um, the completion rate for better play with this particular slider. We can get better play other ways from our quarterback, but we can't do it this way. So we keep that at 45. What I like about this rating or this setting, it separates your top tier quarterbacks with your 90-something accuracy and great awareness if you're a CPU quarterback, with the with the guys that have 80 accuracy or, or even worse, 74 accuracy. Those guys get exposed. Anything from 40, 35 is too low because guys can't throw on a run at that point or make throws on a run. But anything from 40 to 45, guys with low accuracy or accuracy in the 70s, they really have to watch how they throw the ball. And a lot of times they have to set their feet before they throw. So I, I like this setting. I like 42, but 45 seems fair. Pass blocking, we need to max that out because of the overpowered block shedding and jump to snap abilities um, of the CPU and, a, and the human control line as well. Because when you're not controlling a, a, a defensive lineman, that same ability transfers to your players as well. So, with, with, which in this game, block shedding is pretty powerful. So this needs to be at 99. <clears throat> this is not just a pass blocking slider, it's also an ability slider for your, your lineman. Wide receiver catching, there's another loaded slider. This isn't just a catching slider from my testing. What I've come to realize is it's a catching traffic slider as well. The reason why your wide receivers are dropping so many balls when players are around them is because 50 is too low sometimes, especially if you're going to do 50 for your knockdowns. The defense already has an advantage in catching traffic situations. We need to even that out by raising this up and making adjustments on our knockdown slider, which we'll see in a second. So I like to keep this at, keep this at 65 and maybe go up to 90 99 depending on what i do with the knockdown slider but 65 is 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 a nice setting right here now in my opinion the two most important sliders other than awareness defensive awareness which is the very very most important slider in this game this slider as well as the tackle slider now your running back ability slider is not not just for your ball carriers it carries over to your offensive lineman as well. It carries over to every offensive player 
on that side of the ball. Every player on the offensive side of the ball, this slider affects. It's 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 also in a lot of ways an awareness slider. Because what you're gonna notice with this slider at max and pass blocking at max, those plays where offensive linemen were missing blocks, you're gonna see that a lot less. It's still gonna happen because it happens in real football. Look at what happened in the first game of the season in the NFL when the Steelers played the Broncos. I don't know if you all saw that game, but what the Steelers did to that that offensive line, it was, I felt sorry for those dudes. I felt if they weren't getting paid, I really would have felt sorry for them because they got they were getting hit with stunts. They couldn't block. They couldn't block a dog coming off the line. They couldn't block anybody. So sometimes you see that in football. You see linemen miss stunts. You see linemen get beat on the outside. You see confusion. You see uh, tackles that should block a linebacker, not block a linebacker. You see a running back having to make a, an adjustment on the other side of the formation to try to catch a blitzer. And when you have these sliders maxed out, those guys do a better job. They don't catch every single blitzer or every single stun, stunning defensive lineman, but they do a much better job. And you're going to see that if you go into going to the lab and, and like I have like I've been doing <clears throat> run blocking same as pass blocking max it out guess what CPU sliders exactly the same most importantly our running back ability slider for the CPU if you want them to play to their best this has to be maxed out some of you've been playing with you know you're thinking you're helping a computer out by uh, giving them 55 and 60 and taking your tackle sl slider down to 35, 20, nope, nope. They're still not gonna play to their best because what did I say? This acts as, a, as, an, as an awareness slider as well. Not just ability, but awareness as well. Everybody runs faster, everybody's quicker, everybody's smarter, everybody gets to their spots faster. Pulling guards pull at the right time now. You don't have to wait around for them. They, they, they're waiting on you. You see what I'm saying? So max, max these sliders out, baby. Max these out. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's not going to hurt anything because we're going to balance this out on the other side. And since we're maxing this out, it's going to give you a greater challenge on defense because our defensive sliders for the human are, are not going to be maxed out except for maybe one. That's going to be close to maxed out. So let's get to that right now. On defense, let's start with the human. Look who we have on awareness. Zero. Nothing. This needs to be at zero. I, even if you are an All-American player, even if you're somebody like me, I'm not the greatest player in the world, but I'm not... How can I put this? If there were tiers to All-American, I would be in the middle tier or I would be in the top tier of an All-American player. Meaning, I like to set up these sliders to where... They're a little bit more challenging and interesting in default. I've always been that way. So even if you're a straight up All-American guy, you need to have this slide at zero because you want that offense. You want to work on defense. You want to work on defense. You don't want anything to come easy. You need to be switching. You need to be um, putting eight men in the box running cover three, running uh, cover ones, and, and dropping that, 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 that guy with the man responsibility in a box. You need, to, you need to be working on defense. And believe me, when you play with a weaker team and you have to play Ohio State or you have to play um, Wisconsin or one of those teams with one of those bruising running backs, oh, my goodness, I'm telling you, you're going to be tired of getting run, run over. You know, with these with this slider set. So keep that at zero. It's gonna make you work hard. If you playing with something like this, no. Mm -mm. Nope, nope, no. Nope. Now if your skill level says you need to have it at 50, there's no shame in that. Put it at 50. But if you an experience if you're an experienced all-American player, this should be at zero. I, I'm I'm not really that flexible on that. But if like I said, if you need to, do what you feel like you need to do. But to help the offense out and to get the very best out of the offense who has their sliders pretty much maxed out on offense, you keep that at zero and I, I, I promise you, you're going to be working on defense. Defense is going to be a challenge. There's not going to be any time to sleep. No rest on, no rest on defense. Knockdowns, 
need to be at 25 because, as I said before, the defense on both sides of the ball has an advantage in that area with the catch and traffic. So 25 knockdown, 65 uh, wide receiver catch seems fair to me. This slider, I once thought for this game that it affected the ability of the, of the defenders to cover wide receivers, but that's not true. That's tied up into the awareness slider, which is extremely loaded in its own right. The awareness slider is in charge of read and react. It's also related to defensive aggressiveness. So if you were to bump this up to 75, the CPU would, would probably never score. Or even worse, 100? Yeah, yeah, they would have a hard time scoring a the ball. They wouldn't be able to run a ball at all. So you need to keep that at zero. This needs to be all the way down to zero. Interceptions, those need to be at zero um, for both sides of the, uh, for the CPU and the human. There's a lot of picks in this game. So let's keep it at zero. Break block, to balance off what we did with the 99 uh, pass block and run block. For the human, let's you can do between zero and 15. I wouldn't recommend going any higher than that because you don't you want a fair amount of pancake blocks and you want the CPU to be able to run and pass the ball. And you want them to have enough time in the pocket. Now, sometimes your defensive linemen are just gonna win, win their individual matchups and you're gonna get a sack every now and then. <clears throat> but those days where you could just pick a defensive lineman or pick a linebacker and blitz and, and get like 25 sacks with some 75 rated garbage <laughs> defensive end and no no those days are done baby let's 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 pack that up gotta pack that up i'm telling you with these sliders those offensive linemen for the cpu will be blocking i promise you and it's tough to get sacks if you want to get a sack most of the time you have to bring six or seven <clears throat> to get a sack most of the time depending on the situation you got to bring some heat now there's going to be times when you can get a coverage sack here and there. there's going to be times when you can your defensive end is going to win that matchup and you you get a sack rushing four but it feels more realistic you see what i'm saying so you're going to find a lot of times when you win your matchups even if you win the jump to snap matchup <clears throat> you don't automatically just blow through that offensive lineman sometimes you still get pushed back so yeah, let's keep this low. Keep it at zero, or at the most 15. Let's keep it like that. Tackling slider. This is one slider on All-American where the human has an advantage. And I know this for a fact. And it's really easy to see after testing. Um, I, it, it feels to me like a 25, 30 point advantage. So what I like to do for the human, I like to keep this at 75. At the, at the lowest, I'll take it down to 65. Keep in mind, our running back ability sliders are, are at 99 for both sides. Let's go to the CPU defense. Awareness, I have it at 25. That might seem a bit low, but um, this is not where it should be. That might seem a bit low, but compared with that slider I just adjusted, it's, it's pretty fair in my book. If this is too easy for you, you can do 50. But once you hit 75, this is that Heisman level challenge that people have been missing. You do 75 awareness for the CPU or 99, I, I'm, I'm telling you, if you're a Heisman player, this is what you need to be doing. Your sliders, your defensive sliders for the CPU on Heisman need to look like this, 75 to 99. Now I might sound like I'm rambling, which I probably am, but on the video description, I'm going to write all the sliders down in each situation where they're relevant, Heisman, All-American, blah, blah, blah. But if you're a Heisman guy, you need to be at 75. 50, that's All-American level. If you're a Heisman player, why are you playing at 50? You shouldn't be playing at 50. I understand the game has jumped to snap. I understand the game, the game has momentum. Here, here's the truth about this game. And I don't want to say anything um, disrespectful, but the bottom line is this. This game was more difficult than NCAA 06. It just is. It's not as easy. NCAA 06 is, uh, I love it. It's a, it's a great game. I love the game to death. We all did. We all love that game. But that game is easy compared to this game. It, it, it just is. The deep balls are easy. 
when the defense is in zone, your flats are, are open 95% of the time, not not so in this game because the, the cornerbacks play differently. They play smarter. They roam, it, they roam in their zones depending on um, what, they, what they're playing. So this game is just more difficult in general. Yes, it has flaws with the jump to snap gimmick and the momentum meter and things of that nature, but it's it's harder to play. So you have to adjust the um, the sliders accordingly. And we can have a competitive experience on All American if you just if you're willing to just put in a little time with the sliders, which you guys don't even have to do that now because I, I had to, I wasted all my not wasted all my time, but I took all my personal time and did it did it for myself and for you guys. So if you're a Heisman guy, put that at 75, 99. And then come back and talk to me about the All American being too easy. If it's still too easy for you at that point, you can do something like this. You can raise up your knockdowns to 65, and then do do that. Boom, or do that. If the game is still too easy at that point, you can adjust the break block. See, we still got a lead, we got a lot of leeway here, but I promise you, you won't have to do too much of this because look at that tackle slider. Uh, interception slider, I never recommend touching that because the picks are going to come, whether that's at zero, it's just going to get exponentially worse as soon as you put a number value on this. So keep that at zero. The picks are going to come regardless of what skill level you're You're going to throw interceptions. That's that's unavoidable. You understand? So, so, so that's what it is. So for All-American, I recommend 25, between 25 and 50. 25 should be your limit for the CPU awareness because as I said this affects the way cornerbacks cover receivers It affects read and react It's also an aggression slider the higher the slider the more aggressive smarter the defense is it's gonna affect affect pursuit angles You're gonna have a you're gonna have a hard way to go Playing on 75 trust me. I've tried it if it, it, it's it's for me it was, it, I can't, I couldn't do it. I can't do it on 75. I, I can't do it. The defense is just too good. So if you're a Heisman player, if you're the, if you're the type you were a coach in high school, you play football, and you, you know how plays work, you know how to break down defensive defenses, try something like this. Or if you're really bold, or if you're really great, as a lot of you are, try this. Try 99, and then come back and talk to your board about All-American NCAA football 09 being too easy because it's not it's, it's not easy. You just have to tune it right <clears throat> Okay, our break block For CPU, we're gonna keep that at 15 If they're not getting enough pressure, which, which they should trust me Pressure is a big part of this game If you can bust that up to 25 if you want, but I recommend keeping that at 15 the tackle slider is for the CPU is, is, is pretty important. You don't want to lower this too much for the CPU. If you have to, you can lower it to maybe 85, no lower than 80. Because once you get to 75 and 65 range, that's the human tackle slider range. And as I said before, we have an advantage in the tackle category. So keep that at 99. The fumbles won't be too bad. You know why? Because our running back ability sliders are higher. We're not dealing with that default stuff. We're not dealing with 50. Matter of fact, in any of these sliders, you don't see any 50 anywhere around here. We're mixing it up, baby. You know, we, 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 I was in a lab and I, I, I saw some stuff. It took a lot of work, but I saw some stuff and, and, and it works. It works. So, um, just to recap on defense 25 awareness. 25 knockdowns, interception zero, Ray block 15 for the CPU, tackling 99 for the human, that needs to be at zero, knockdowns 25, interception zero, break block between 15, remember between zero and 15, and tackling that 75. If you are a Heisman player, this is this is this is where you get that difficulty right here. And there's another touch to it too. You should be able to find a limit between 50 and 99. You should be able to find a limit. You won't, I'm almost certain you won't need to touch any human stuff. If you're just a super player and knowing how this game is with jump to snap and how aggressive awareness in this game, awareness is uber aggressive in this game. I'm telling you guys, 
awareness is incredible in this game. You boost this this thing up to like 75, strong say they they out there looking like um my, my man from Seattle that came from the Jets. They out there looking like Adams. I mean, it's crazy. It it, it is insane. And talk about 99. Come on, man. I mean, seriously. I mean, I mean, come on. It's 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 crazy. So all American players, this is where you're gonna find your this is where you're gonna find your sweet spot between 50. It's not gonna be 50. It's going to be between like 65 and 99. 65 and 99. Try 65 before you hit 75. I played on 75, and I, I tell you, it, that didn't last long. I bumped that back down to 50 real quick. Now I'm at 25 <clears throat> because I feel like that's um, that's fair for my skill level. And keep in mind that tackle slider is, is real big. I'm at 99 running back ability, but this tackle slider, I'm not getting a lot of free stuff. You know, this tackle slider affects game speed from the defense, pursuit angles, tackle ability. Um, yeah, it, it's a pretty loaded slider as well. It's just just as important as the running back ability slider. It's just not as powerful as this slider. I, I can talk about this slider all night, how important it is. I can talk about it all night. It's, it's incredible. So once again, that's that's how defensive sliders went over offense. Both all of those look the same. Now we're gonna finish this up, finish this up because the video is already gone too long with our special teams field goal length. I justified that by saying to myself that I felt like those kicks, the kicks in the game, were coming up a bit too short. 40, 42 yard field goals, forty five yard field goals were coming up a bit short, so I gave it a little bit a little bit of juice. Five points. This is a make or break right here. Do what you want to do with that. Field goal accuracy, kicking in this game is too easy for both sides of the ball. I really hate the fact that they changed kicking to the analog stick because it was so much more of a challenge when you just had to hit that X button twice. And whew, man, kicking on Heisman on NCAA Football 06, man, that was a nightmare. Uh, that, that was tough. And to this day, I see guys still have a challenge with that when I watch you guys' videos. So, kicking, um, the special teams are more fun because you can block kicks now and stuff like that, but it's, the kicking game itself is just too easy, much too easy. Punt length, punt length is something I, I really enjoy. I, I enjoy punt, the punt game now because, first of all, the punts are longer. They were too short at, by default. Too many 40-yard uh, kicks, too many 45-yard kicks. Now we're getting 45, 52-yard kicks, sometimes 55-yard kicks, depending on the bounce. Sometimes you might get a 60, 70-yard kick if you get a big bounce. The kind of stuff you see in real football. Another great byproduct of having your punt length at, at, at 80 or anything um, much greater than 50 is you get some nice returns now. It, it's it's You get that Charles Woodson stuff where, you know, you kick a long punt to Charles Woodson and you have a great punt returner and, you know, you can do something great. But it's tough when you have this at 50 and you fair catching 70% of the punts that's kicked to you or the CPU uh, fair catching the punts kicked to them. So, yeah, yeah, raise that up. It's not going to hurt anything. It's not going to hurt the averages. The averages are going to be more realistic. You're going to see 42-yard averages. You're going to see 44, 40, 45, 46-yard punt averages. Punt accuracy, same as kick accuracy, too too easy for both sides. Kickoff length, uh, I justified this because all the kickoff kickoffs were going short. I do re I do respect the fact that these guys aren't don't have NFL legs, but some of these guys can kick the ball in in the at least the front of the end zone. You know, I mean, some of these guys can. So this is going to help the better kickers, your stronger kickers get those balls into the end zone and you're going to see more variation in kick and kickoff lengths um based on wind direction and wind speed and things like that but this is much better than the default 50. same thing for the cpu exact same thing so all right guys those are the sliders uh i don't know how long this video is going on but it's going on long enough want to do something real quick um just a quick note my next video is going to be about the QB avoidance stick. One of them, I think this is one of the most ignored, one of the most ignored and best features in this game. 
I'm going to show you how the strength attribute or the strength rating has an impact on the QB avoidance stick. In other words, your stronger quarterbacks, like your Tim Tebow's, they make better use of the Q, uh, QB avoidance stick compared to weaker quarterbacks. And I'm going to prove that to you and show that to you in my next video. So that's that. Uh, that's already um, already the topic of the next video. I've already decided to do it. It's not even going to take long either. I'm going to do that in practice mode. So once again, just to recap, here's the sliders, guys. Make a note of it. Pause the video for All American. That's my All American set. All right. All American. Same thing on offense. If you're a Heisman guy and it's too easy. If the defensive adjustments I told you are too easy, bump that down to 75. There's a lot of, we have a lot of leeway with this. You don't have to give up on this game because it's too easy for you. For the human on defense, that needs to be at zero, 25 knockdowns, interceptions at zero. This can go between 15 and zero. And our tackling can go between 75 and 65. Okay? On defense, for the CPU, this can go between 25 and 99, depending on your skill level. We got a lot to play with here. You see what I'm saying? This is a lot of ability level between these numbers. So there's no reason anybody could, should give up on this game based on the game being too easy or the game being too difficult. I even have a varsity slider set. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm so deep into this game. I have a varsity set. I have a Heisman set. I, I have so many slider sets all in my brain. Nothing written down because this game was frustrating at the fall. It put me in a situation to where I wanted, I knew there was something great in this game and I found it. It just took me a long doggone time, but I feel like it was worth it. I feel it was worth it. So once again, um, that's your sliders for the CPU. Keep that at 15. If it's a bit too easy for you, bump it up to 25. <clears throat> Interceptions at zero, knockdowns. Keep that tackle slider at 99. Never turn that down. You might can get away with like 80, 85, but I wouldn't go to the 75, 65 range because we have an advantage in the tackle area. All right, guys, stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm not sure if I'll put some time steps on here um, or not. I apologize if I did some rambling. This is going to be my first video uh, speaking on YouTube. So um, I hope I was, I was able to help a, a lot of you guys. Like I said, there's a lot um, of leeway in these sliders. What you're seeing on the screen, it can all be tweaked according to your skill level. If you're a Heisman guy, 25 is not what you need to see here. You need to see something like this. And I promise you, go take Indiana to, up to the horseshoe and watch what Beanie Wells does to you and then come back and talk to me about the game being too easy. All right, I'll see you guys later. Peace.